Hey Technofreaks, Tech, no Odin here, and welcome back to Hunting Ground Analyzed, the simple coaching series where we strive to improve our hunting potential. And before we even start, I would like to thank every one of you who participated in my live stream the other day. We had a bit of fun, we had some good laughs. And if anyone wants to be a part of the next stream session, follow me on Twitter, which I'll leave the link in the description below, so you'll be alerted to when I'm going live next. And with that said, let's get into the prep. Today we have Cadillac Kev, a scout who had mentioned that he was slightly inebriated while playing this, and he wants me to check out some bow play, see how things are. Now, what I'm really interested in, outside of the bow, is how he's going to deal with the smart disc while being essentially buzzed. You know, they say don't drink and drive. Well, let's see how he does with a smart disc, because I think you need to be quite, quite on your toes with the smart disc. So as we see with the weapons, smart disc bow, I kind of myself have gone off the smart disc and the bow at the same time. I know why you have it. You have the smart disc as a, as a strong weapon, and if something happens to it because it can get destroyed, we still have the bow as backup or vice versa, we can still use the smart disc if we run out of arrows. But we should never run out of arrows because we should always pick our arrows up. As for gear, heal kit, motion detector, pretty standard stuff. Heal kit, as always, is great if you don't have bows because you can just heal anywhere else. And motion detector is one of the strongest gear pieces in the game. Perks, pretty standard again, and I'm very interested in the long jump because, well, we have a scout the best leaper in the game with the most stamina for it, alongside Adrenal Boost, which means we can leap a lot more, and Long Jump, which means we can leap a lot further. This is the type of perk set people use to ambush the fire team at the very beginning as they're mudding up. If you can see where they are as they're still mudding up, and you can probably leap to them within a couple of jumps, it's disgusting. Okay, so without that, let's go straight into the match. Okay, so one thing we're going to do is also we're going to utilize the music and see if we can hear any changes when we encounter actual players. Now, we're in the north um, spawn point, so the northwest camp, the uh, helipad camp, is usually the best place to go. We use that, we can check and see if there's any um, mission tells. And if we want to go inside the main building there, we can check for the radio. But throwing the motion detector there is fine. I don't know how you got a vertical leap from there. There didn't seem to be anything blocking you, but it is what it is. Right. So now we're all ready. Now this is the beauty. We're all ready in the camp after one or two leaps. We could have been even further in. Now I don't know why you've... Now I can see you've changed to the bow. But... First things first, on here or any of the rooftops, it's always great to start a perimeter, to set that perimeter. You've used one motion detector, you have a lot, you have a few more, so you can use another motion detector to throw it in between those planks, those stacked up planks at the lumber yard, and that gains you one perimeter and then the next one is just over to the to the right at the train yard when you actually get to that big train warehouse trying to get a motion detector there at the center of that wall is great because i think that covers a good chunk of the area where the fire team have to go for one of their missions So we're leaping in, and we can see them kind of going in there. Yeah, let's get some high ground, that's fine. Now... And we don't need to really crouch walk, I mean, you're not going to give too much of your position away from there. That's a decent, that's a decent throw, but it's like easy spotted, they could easily destroy that. I kind of try and get it just on the top 
of the entryway, but that's fine. Yeah, decloak, because you were running low on energy. We don't need that. We need we need our energy for shots. Now again, the bow out. And we've, yeah, so we've got someone marked up. And he's mudded up. Now they're all inside there, so I'm taking it. It's got to be the mission started there. So if the mission started there, that could potentially be. Oh, that was unlucky. That was another one unlucky shot. I think you were kind of in the right position. I'm actually surprised you didn't get get it. But let's see. So they're going into the it gives me. Now, if they're going in here, this gives me a good indication. What right, so that it gives me a proper good indication. So, they're going in here. Now, this is usually where, if it's the bomb mission, the one of the items they need is always in this, is in this warehouse. And the other thing that gives it away is that there's... The only other mission that is in that. <laughs> I think this is why we don't drink and drive, people. Okay, so two things wrong there. Um. Right. Okay. Compose. Compose ourselves. So before I go into that, let's we, we'll go all we we'll go back, and we'll just quickly have a little part of where you looked. Now, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna pause it and just. Just bring it to this shot here. Now, why this is actually quite an interesting point where I want to make. So, one of the things we do is we look for tells. Now, in this building, there's two main missions I can remember. And two parts they start with. One of them is the bomb mission. It's a bunch of tankers... Stra strapped to high hell with bombs you have to sort th that and i think you look for the detonator in this building that you're on the other mission that i know for exact is from the big train warehouse is a mission where you have to break open that little doorway kill the guy inside and kind of escape quickly before the bomb that he's actually sheltering, which was a decoy, blows you up. So there's the two main missions that kind of revolve the same thing. Once we saw this door, this gives us hints that this is more than likely going to be the bomb mission. So if it's the bomb mission, the next point where they need to be will be the helipad place. Now let's go back to this. So, we get our smart disc out. First problem, you are way too far away for that to ever hit. Like, the smart disc is a bit of a conny weapon. It's a ranged weapon, but the range it's best at is mid. Mid to close. If you can be on the floor, which is the best place you could ever be with the smart disc, is if you are on the floor behind, say, this um, vehicle here, or the entryway here, you throw the disc in, and you then go from the round, and then you can speed up and maybe catch them. But even then, that's going to be very tricky, because the meter for the smart disc is a bit of a git and it's actually not much and from here by the time we've even got to the entrance we're already halfway through the meter from that distance you would have had a heck of a lot to do to catch up without talking about the aim and the controlling without talking about the controls of the smart disk that wasn't the best call. Probably the best thing was just to leap over and keep following them. Now, when we talk about the um, aiming, 
<laughs> you went just straight into the wall. That that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Right. So let's go get our disc back and let's never talk about this again. We should probably have got our arrow as well since it was just in the ground because we're it's okay. We're on 27, so we still got a lot of arrows. And yeah. They are good. They've mudded up, so they are not going to be anywhere near you. Now it's this is the part where mission knowledge comes into play. Now we can hear them. We can hear the the fire team. Uh, we can hear people dying, and we can. See, now there's something we should have been paying attention to. Let me just let me go back. Right. It was quick, but I noticed. I managed to notice it. It just as you change your weapon, you can see it. And I've paused it here, plain as day. You can see sound disturbance. That is important. Sound disturbance is so important, which we don't think about it. We, do, but straight away, why are people firing? Why would they have had their point to fire? There you go. There's your fire team, exactly where we said they'd be, going to the helipad camp, which you've already set a motion detector for. So that's going to be great, unless they've actually destroyed the motion detector. Now we know the mission's going to take them from that place there, the camp, back to the train depot. Now this is fine. Let's see where you go. Now, okay, this is okay. I would have actually gone to the top of the crow's nest. That's more height range. Well, I think you're trying to utilize a bit more cover, which is fair enough. No, I think that's just the NPC. Now him, there's that's not the NPC. That's the um, that's the that's the fire team member. Now this is why we don't really use this crow's nest, and we'd either go to the top. Let me pause. Now there's a few things, the few places of vantage or vantage points I would have you go to. One is on top of the crow's nest. You're in the crow's nest. But if you go onto the crow's nest roof, you have a higher vantage point, which makes it easier for your shots to land, in all fairness. The next vantage point is the helipad. That is your best vantage point. There are bits where uh, it can be a bit of a frustration. Like, the lights can kind of block shots when they shouldn't really and stupid stuff like that but majority of the time if you're standing on that helipad you have perfect access to those two doors that the fire team are coming in and out of and majority of the time you're going to land your shots in there whether it be a plasma caster shot or your bow shots plasma caster you're going to flush them out and then you can get some bow shots in my other place is the roof of the building at the north because it's kind of the same thing. If people get onto this roof here, you've got perfect shots against them. And finally, utilize the trees. If you can just quick leap up onto the trees, not climb them, but if you can specifically target the branch and it actually lets you, which is a big problem we, we have as well, is for some reason, you can leap onto the branches, but it's very finicky. But if you can leap onto the branch, do that. Because you get such a great vantage point there. And if you don't move and you're, you're just crouching, it's such a great place to be. And it's the same for this tree that's right close to you and the tree right at the north end, which you can just see over there. Now, let's just have a look. Okay, so... So, oh, I think that was a bit fortunate. Your aim is kind of off, and I'm, I would say, <laughs> that's why we don't, now that's why we don't utilize the crow's nest. But yeah, your aim's kind of off. I've I said this um, a few times, but, oh, okay. I'm going to pause just because that was a quick, um, I know he said something about glitches and the video cutting. That's just sometimes with the PS4 recording it happens but yeah so first things first your shots they they are off but it's not 
entirely on you. Trajectory is always going to be a problem with the projectiles in this game. For some reason, Ilphonic are not going to seem don't seem to want to fix it, but projectiles tend to fly from the left. So when they're traveling, they don't travel straight to the dot. They actually travel to the left of the dot. And that hasn't been fixed. Um, I actually mentioned this in one of Shifo's vids on in the comment section. He was having some issues with that. But with the trajectory, you have to kind of aim slightly to the right of your target for the arrow to connect. It's annoying, it's stupid, but it's what we're dealing with. Other than that, I, I kind of feel you're just being a bit unlucky with um, some of the shots. Like, the shot that just pinged into the railing, that was just a bit unfortunate. Maybe you could kind of charge it a bit more. You might, if you're not going to charge, always aim higher. That's the main rule. If you're not going to charge, don't aim for the body. Aim for the top of the head. Again, this is no okay. Now, this is where I was talking about the vantage points. This is a great vantage point. Look, look at that. See what I mean? They've got to utilize the... Now, keep... Make sure he's... Oh, I feel... Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. That was a bit... That was a bit crazy. Let's go back. I want to go back. So, so let's go. So, we just got the down. And we missed a few shots. Okay. So, you missed your shot that's fine he's still in the still in the vicinity you could get the right shot out and it's fine you switch to the plasma caster and you're firing normal shots one you're firing normal shots in the air like look at that that's like that might get a head sh that might hit the head but as far as i remember um there's not really a headshot multiplier like damage multiplier or plasma caster you can hit them in the head and it will still do a set amount of damage it's kind of like an explosion so a full charge shot is not going to kill anyone no matter if it's in the head or what so it's very rare it's, it's going to do a lot of damage but you're not even fully charging you're just doing normal shots and you're missing okay so what are we going to do okay smart disc that's a very optimistic angle. Like, I don't... I can see what you were trying, jungle. but... You know, you were really out. trying to... Um, through the eye of a needle there. You were trying to thread, pull the thread through the eye of a needle. Um, There was a ball there. Are we going to get that ball? Okay, so we got a ball. That's great for us. Okay, so we see a guy there. I think we're just going to let him pass. Yep. The other guy, let him pass. Now, it looks like they've done what they need to do here. So I think they're making their way to the final point. Now, oh, you got some guys shooting at you. Now, we could take him down. Now... That's fine. Now, if we are, if we were pulling to risk it, I'd have you, I'd have used the smart disc there. I'd have gone around, got to a nice space, and utilized the smart disc to get a double down. Two guys have already ran off. We've got one down. We're one on one. We could have probably got that smart disc to go in, hit the guy trying to do the res. Bingo. If he isn't down from that one. Russian would get him down. Also, just remember, you had the bar. You could have utilized the bar and not wasted your heal kit. But anyway, let's... I'm definitely seeing the buzz in you. I can definitely say you are definitely buzzed. Because we're bouncing into things. We're not trying to really leap. Or just jump over them. We're just trying to utilize the leap and we're wasting a lot of time. But yeah, as we can see, I'm guessing. Right, yeah, the sound's coming from there. Where are you going? 
Oh, I see. I can see what you... You're thinking it's the... No, it's not that train mission. So, now we have to go back. And... Let's just check. Okay, so that's, that's NPC. NPC's firing. Now he's down. Okay, smart disc. Here we go. Okay, now you kind of aiming a bit high, but okay. Right. Well, that's going to some surveillance. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. I'm going to bring it back. Now we definitely know that this is the the um, bomb mission. Now, first things first. You're aiming way too high for the smart disc. Um, you're aiming there. You've got to really pull the smart disc right back down. Best to aim it roughly just below body, you know, where it naturally stands, where you're naturally going to look, just aim it a little bit below so it travels just to, as if it's going to the floor and then you can use it. Now, you miss your opening there. There's the guys. You miss your opening. And boom, you crash. Now, this is a problem here. Now, I'm going to go back again. So let's just look at it. Let's just look at it. This is why we don't drink and drive. Let's treat this like the car. So we've just got onto the highway, the freeway. There's our, there's our junction. We need to turn off. We've just missed the turn off. There's another junction. We've just missed the turn off. There's another junction. We missed the turn off. Okay, we just crashed into the tree. Your everything to do with direction is just gone. Now we have to kind of go proper, go proper ham. Now I would have gone and retrieved my smart disc. Right. You spotted. This is dangerous play. This is dangerous play. Don't do this. Um, yeah, go. You need that smart. You need to get your smart disc back. Oh, so we had. So someone did die. That's interesting. But anyway, um, I must have left someone to die. But go get your smart disc. There's your smart disc. Go get your smart disc. There we go. Now again, this is time we're gonna yeah use your smart disc to see if we can get one for at least get one thing down. Got one dude down. Cool, cool. Oh, okay, that's good. We got two down. This way. Three down because that was that was actually quite unlucky. That was quite unlucky for them, but lucky for us. Now, right. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna keep saying it. Get your smart disc. Now we go back. So we took these two down. That was fine. And it got caught. Now, in that situation, the moment I hit the second guy, I would cancel that. I would cancel that and try and get it come to come back to me. Just because I've already hit two people. That's good enough. And if they haven't been taken down, the return might do some damage still and i might actually get a double down now we have got a double down we need to get our smart disc look we got the explosion we got three down grab the smart disc because we go we're going past we if we'd have gr mm. now in this situation had we had the smart disc he's instantly dead it, you, the aim was kind of off again you should have aimed at the guy being revived but and that's on the floor because explosion doesn't matter as long as you hit something it's gonna do the damage okay that was an npc let's not do their job let's not do their job for them i mean not bad Th these are crazy flurries um these are crazy flurries like you see in the, the 87 predator but it's working it worked now get your smart disc. Why are you... What are you leaping for? Get your smart disc. You still haven't got your smart disc. Okay. I am like... These guys are not... And you still, second win, you still didn't get your smart disc. Right. 
Okay, so it skipped again, I'm guessing. And... Um... Dude? What? Okay, someone's a very lucky boy. By all rec by all things, you should be dead now. Um, unless they, ch they like, like, fix that. So that you can't die if you're reviving. Or eating a boar. You should be dead. Right. Now we've got to do this without the smart disc. Luckily they're right next to us, so... You know... Okay. We got a hit. Oh, we got a down. That's, we got two downs. We got these. I mean, we could have waited on the the claims. Just go kill the other guys. We're in a we're in a really bad pickle. Let's see what we do. That's a good idea. Oh, he's stealth killed. He's stealth killable. Darn it. Right. So we have one. Oh, the chuckle left. Oh, no, he's down. Fire team illuminated. So the AI did the work for us. Okay. Good game. Right. For everyone, let's just say, we already made the point on this. This is your reason why you don't get in a car when you drink. No matter how good you feel, that smart disc is how you're driving, in a sense, when you've got more drink in you. Your control is off. Your aim is slightly off. So yeah, this was a great thing to show the negative effects of alcohol. But regardless of that, smart disc. So most players aim the smart disc relatively low because going for the head doesn't make a difference. Smart disc does like 125 damage on hit anywhere. No headshot multipliers, no crits, no nothing. Just flat 125. So if you're aiming for the lower, lower parts of the body, like the feet or the legs, the legs are the most spread out as you're moving and stuff like that, so the hitbox is going to get caught. Now, if you aim for the, like, the waist or leg area, you're going to get more chance of actually landing a hit. So if you start from the ground, you've got to aim upwards. So if you land on someone, you're more likely to not hit the floor or hit something in behind it. That's why we always aim kind of relatively low. Other part is mission and map knowledge again talk about this and people say it's, it's basic stuff but look how important it is i've spent most of my time practicing levels as fire team to get a general knowledge of where i need to go so then if i can kind of notice the trick of the trade i know where my ambush points are like if i go to a mission into a camp area if i haven't seen the radio and if i haven't seen a mission point I don't even need to throw something there. It's not important. I can cut it out, cut that entire thing out and just focus on the other two, the other points of interest. With this, we saw the fire team make sure they went into the train depot. And there aren't that many missions that start there. The first place we check is that door. We check the door on the outside and it's not locked. We've narrowed down to the only other mission that could start there, the bomb mission. Then if we know how the bomb mission plays out, we can either attack them while they're trying to sort out what they're doing with the first bomb, we can plant something there for while they're trying to do a detonator and set up an ambush there, or better yet, we can set up a bigger ambush for them in the helipad area. We can get them while they're, trying, while they're funneled in between the, the road area. There's loads of possibilities there. And that's why mission knowledge is so important. Outside of that, it's just working on aim, and I've told you, it's just remembering that you kind of have to aim slightly to the right. Once you've got that memorized into your head, you're, you're, you're golden. My only other thing is recognize the times you actually have the advantage. 
Like I said, you'd already knocked a guy down. Yeah, the dude's firing at you. And yeah, if he continues to fire at you and he's going to chase you, you're going to be in trouble. However, you could literally just make it look like you're going to run away, hide behind cover, and then send the smart disc out as he's trying to res his teammate. You've got two downs there. And that's going to make their life a lot harder. But, you know, there's potential there. I think if you work on all the things I've said, you're probably going to give a reason for the fire team to drink. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. If you like what you've seen and you want to see more, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell thingy, and share this video. Also, if you have any submissions that you want me to check out for you, please follow the on-screen instructions. And finally, don't forget to follow me on Twitter so you can find out when the next live stream will be. So until that day, this has been Techno Odin. Stay safe, claim skulls, and take care.